our study. Um, today we are on Psalms 139 to 143. The title of 139 is Search Me, O God, and Know My Heart. Read from verse 1. O Yahweh, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path by my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all of my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Yahweh, thou knowest it altogether. Verse 7. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or where shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Verse 12. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are thy works, and thou, and that my soul knoweth, knoweth right well. Verse 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 114, verse 1. Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their hearts. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man, who have purposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me, and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set chains for me. Salah. Verse 10. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. Verse 13. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name, the upright shall dwell in thy presence. Psalm 141, reading from verse 1. Yahweh, I cry unto thee, make haste unto me, give ear unto my voice, when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Verse 15, let a righteous smite me, it shall be a kindness, and let him reprove me, it shall be an excellent oil, which shall not break my head, for yet my prayer also shall be in their calamities. Psalm 142, verse 1, I cried unto Yahweh with my voice, with my voice unto Yahweh did I make my supplication, I poured out my complaint before him. I showed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have I privily laid a snare for me? Have they privily laid a snare for me? Verse 6. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. The righteous shall compass me about, for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. Psalm 143, verse 1. Hear my prayer, O Yahweh, give ear to my supplications. In thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. Verse 7. Hear me speedily, O Yahweh, my spirit faileth, hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto thee that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, 
I lift up my soul to thee. Today I draw your attention to verse 2 of Psalm 141. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. When the temple was destroyed in AD 17, Yeshua came to replace the sacrificial system, not the law. That is what we now know. And then we shall read in Revelation that the prayers of the saints came up to heaven, ascended to heaven. It's the same thing when they were in Babylon and there was no temple for them to do the sacrifices. Daniel offered up his sacrifices of praise at the same time of the giving of the annual sacrifices of the Lord. So, so. Yeshua did not come to replace the law. The law of murder, not to murder, not to steal, adultery, and so forth. 